No, I cannot believe that it's senior night. It seems way too soon. Honestly, it feels like the season just started. And I mean, hopefully we do have a lot of the season left to go. So it's not like this is our like last hurrah or anything, but it's just kind of surreal to finally, like we are the seniors who are gonna like have the night for themselves. It's just like a weird feeling. And like leading up to this night, I know we have to like write our little bios of like favorite memories of all this year and stuff. And we were, I was just talking about it with all the other seniors and like it just doesn't feel real like knowing we're here yet. I thought we had like nine games left, if I'm being honest. Um, I didn't expect to come this fast, so it's definitely a bittersweet moment, but we still have a lot more of the season left to go, even if it's senior night this Friday. So we'll have fun that night, and then it's back to business. Bittersweet. It's going to be so wonderful to be with the team, and you know we've had such a great few years with Coach, so um, looking forward to it. The season's blown by super fast. Like. I thought like yesterday or like a couple days ago it was like preseason, but no, we're like into week seven or something and that's really crazy to me. I mean, like they say, time flies when you're having fun and this has been a great year, a fun year. I've said it many times, these are a great bunch of kids, top to bottom. I enjoy being with them every day. I hope the feeling is mutual for them. Um, but yeah, it is hard to believe that here we are this late in the season, you know, two weeks to go, senior night, senior week, it, it, it's happening fast. But like I try to tell the players and I try to remind myself, you just really got to stay in the moment and, and cherish every moment because these are memories that, you know, will definitely make an impact on us. And it has nothing to do with the wins and losses, the overtimes or whatever it may be. It's just the time that we are fortunate enough to spend together as, you know, athletes and coach. It's, it's very special to us and it means a lot to me, so it's going to be tough on senior night, there's no doubt. So we're going to get started. If any parents of our HB players want to come onto the field, just so you can walk on after we announce them for photos. So thank you all for being here. First we would like to honor the seniors from Pembroke Academy. Definitely during the ceremony, it'll probably hit all of us. Um, just, it's a very emotional moment for Coach, for all of us. You know, we all work so hard to be here. Everyone, field hockey is their favorite part of the year. So for this to kind of come to an end, finally, and not just, you know, we oh, we have another year next year. Um, it's probably going to hit us during the ceremony. That probably won't hit me until we're further into playoffs because I know for senior night, it's not even just the end of our regular season. We still have two away games after our senior night. Um, so I think it'll be closer to like our last playoff games and stuff like that when it will really hit me. I mean, coach is talking on senior night, but the real hit's going to be the last game ever just because that's the last time I'm going to be stepping on the field with that. And I hope to come back and see the girls one day with that stuff, but definitely last game is going to really hit hard. I'm super proud of all of them for coming this far, but it's definitely going to be very emotional. Um, I started with, um, as a freshman, I started with half of them as sophomores, and like we've kind of just grown throughout the years together. I've gotten to know a lot of them very well, and just playing with them is super fun. I mean, it's definitely shocking to see that it's me in like one year, just seeing how fast the season's gone by. It's like, wow, I actually only have like one more year of this, but I'm just super um, sad to see them go. They don't get, they're going to appreciate the night because they do recognize that it's important, especially our underclassmen. They understand the significance of our legacies. We talk about that a lot, but I think they're also a type of group that doesn't really get caught up in that hoopla of things. They stay very focused. They're very driven. You know, they want to do well and they want to succeed. And they, I think it's just going to inspire a lot of our younger players to really work that extra hard um, for our seniors on that night, no matter who's playing or, or if we do move some pieces around. Um, I think it's, you know, it's, it's a credit to the way we kind of run our program and the way everybody supports each other and the way, you know, everyone kind of has each other's backs. I know. A lot of teams talk about it, and I've been a part of teams that talked about it too, but this group here is really about it. They don't do a lot of talking. They, they, they use their actions, not their words, and that's what I really like about this group. I'm looking a lot forward to just like this traditions, the ceremony that we have, like coach reads out the little speech and then we get to like hug an underclass and we get our flowers and just like the togetherness of the team honestly on that night. It's always 
really emotional and really feels like a good um, place to be in our season and with our team already being so tight together like obviously we're not leaving after that night we still have time left to play but it's it's gonna be a lot of emotions that night definitely it's a family built on unity hard work and shared passion our seniors have embodied these values leading not just with skill but with grace and heart They've shown us that success is measured not only by wins, but how we uplift and support each other. Your legacy isn't just in the games you've won, but in the unity you've created within this team. The standards you've created will continue to inspire future players for years to come. Thank you girls from the bottom of my heart for your leadership, your dedication, and for showing us what it means to play not just for our yourselves, but for each other. And wherever life takes you, remember that you will always be a part of this team. Congratulations, seniors. First up is Sabrina Hill. Naya plans to attend Wagner College to study business and communications while playing field baseball. Addie's advice to next year's team is to put your heart and full effort into the game while enjoying every minute you have with this team. Congratulations, Addie. Her favorite memory is getting Kona ice with the team at the Saugeen Jamborees. Jess's advice to our future teams is to enjoy every minute together the chemistry and support within everyone makes this team a family. Congratulations, Jesse. Emily's favorite moments are the bus rides, the singing and dancing within the team. Emily's advice is to build each other up and continue to have fun. And Emily added a heart emoji there. Congratulations, Emily. Very appreciative of the friendships playing for this team have given her. Bryn's advice is no matter what, always stay positive and, and, um, and uplifting to your teammates. Congratulations, Bryn. In true Sam fashion, her favorite memory this year was watching her best friend Naya score the winning goal against Oyster River in OT. Her advice is to live in the moment because it will go by fast if you spend your time worrying about the future. Congrats, Sam. It came out exactly how we wanted to come out. We wanted them to be surprised. We didn't want them to know exactly what we were doing. Um, we actually set up like two hours before the game. We just want everything to be perfect. And I mean, I hope they liked it as much as they told me. They it was everything did. and more. Um, that night was so perfect. And the juniors did such a great job um, decorating. And our gifts were perfect. It was, it was a great night. I was so happy with the girls and everything they had planned for us. And the ceremony was so special. And everybody who was there was so supportive. And the game itself went pretty much how we thought it would. We came out really strong. Obviously, we really wanted it. And we played so well as a team. And it just felt like a really good moment for us. Great. The underclassmen did great with our setup. And the game was so much fun. It was different with this group because this is these players are from our original team one. So it was harder, honestly. And, I omitted a lot of the things I wanted to say that I knew I wasn't going to be able to get out and keep it professional. Um, so it was hard with this group. I mean, this is a special group. This was the group that, you know, I kind of started with my first year and um, I knew it was going to be difficult. <laughs> I knew it wasn't going to be easy to get through, but I think, I think we did it. I think we did it justice. I think the girls um, appreciated the moment and I think they um, really enjoyed the night and that's what it's all about. It's all about the girls.
Last year's, it's been a little scary when we don't know if we're going to win on our senior night. So to come out with a 6-0 win is just everything we could ask for. Um, our team played so well. Most of our seniors played for um, at least half the game, which was just awesome to have you know, some of our non-starters um, be on the field. And it was such um, an energetic game and the environment was so good. We had so many fans every single senior the most time they could have almost all I think all seniors scored all the goals so that was really cool and it was just really nice for us. It's a lot more special I think especially with our past two senior nights uh, we're up in a varsity having not exactly gone the way we wanted them to it felt really good to know that everybody could really be a part of the senior night and we could kind of just relax with it and have fun and not be like super stressed and super like we have to make every single perfect pass right the whole game we could just play our game and enjoy our time together. Definitely the perfect senior night, just being able to um, watch all of them play, all of them do really well during the game, all of them feeling really good about themselves as well. I mean, it was a super special moment. You couldn't have scripted it better. You know, we had all the seniors play significant minutes um, and we did have the seniors kind of step up and, and take charge of the game. So that was exciting for them and um, I really appreciated watching that and seeing them, you know, star like that.